Hello everyone and happy 2018. Did anyone do anything fun to celebrate the end of the year? Me? Well, I was kind of kidnapped by the family and forced to spend time in the barren countryside with no internet connection whatsoever. The fuck? So, yeah. That aside though, I'm glad to be back. And today I have for you a show that while not exactly new, may be new to many of you. I am talking about the Netflix original series, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Premiering back in March of 2015, and with three seasons currently out, the series is a TV sitcom produced by 30 Rock's Tina Fey and starting Ellie Kemper. The show revolves around Kimmy Schmidt, a 29-year-old woman who was rescued after being forced to spend 15 years in an underground bunker as part of Reverend Richard Wayne Gary Wayne's crazy doomsday cult. Finally free from her captor and determined to not be seen as a victim, Kimmy instead sets out to catch up on all she has missed out on and live her life to the fullest. And so, she moves to New York City, where many trials await her, and she will have to come to terms with surviving in the modern world. When you describe the premise of the show, it sounds like it should be depressing, but trust me, it is far from that. Though it has some dark undertones, at its core, the show is a pretty funny story about a fish out of water trying to make it in the big city as she has comedic interactions with those around her. Although Kimmy has suffered a bad past, she is not a broken person, but instead full of spunk and determination. Always dressed in bright colors and armed with a positive attitude, we watch the childish Kimmy move to New York City and learn how to adapt to things like technology, pop culture, and modern society. With 39 episodes out at this point and rumors of a fourth season on the way, the show has to be doing something, right? Well, if I had to sell the show to a newcomer, which technically doing, I would point towards the easily digestible story, quirky characters, and surreal humor as its strongest points. Beginning with the story, well, it's not very hard to follow. You have the protagonist, Kimmy, and basically the story follows her as she sells into her new life in New York City and experiences doing different things like getting a job, going to school for her GED, dating for the first time, etc. While there are some overarching plots in each season and episodes do connect, the show isn't exactly plot heavy, which I think makes the series very easy to digest. The fact that you don't have to heavily invest yourself in the show makes it a fun, bingeable watch in which you can focus on how Kimmy, as well as the other characters, stand out in certain situations and or places. Speaking of characters, we, of course, have the fun-loving, naive Kimmy, as well as her flamboyant roommate and struggling actor Titus Andromedon, kooky, street-smart landlady Lillian Couchtupper, and the narcissistic and out-of-touch socialite Jacqueline Voorhees. Though it may take a few episodes to get used to the cast, once you know what they're about, then as with any other successful sitcom, Watching how all the characters interact and bring their own unique flair to the scenes is a whole lot of fun. This, of course, ties directly into the humor of the show, which the series does a pretty good job of being unique with. I mean, if you have seen 30 Rock, then that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of style of humor to expect, but still not entirely. From Kimmy hilariously misunderstanding stuff, to Titus's crazy drama queen antics, to Jacqueline being a terrible, self-centered human being, to Lillian's non-sequitur ramblings, the show does a great job of throwing unique one-liners, situations, and references at its audience. Not only that, but the show even has a bit to say about society as well, throwing in some commentary on race, millennials, the rich, life in New York, show business, etc. Now, while I enjoy the show, and I do know that it has received lots of critical acclaim, as I always say, not every piece of media is for everyone. When it comes to things that I think might turn people off or away from the show, I can think of a few. For starters, 
While the personalities of the characters are seen by many as eccentric and fun, if anyone were to say that Kimmy's constant sunniness or Titus's over-the-top flamboyance were too much for them, then, well, I wouldn't have a hard time seeing why. Likewise, while I enjoy all sorts of comedy and stuff like surreal humor doesn't bother me, some people may not enjoy all the randomness or how far out the show goes. Finally, while the show is mostly a well put together product, I do feel that pacing can be a bit off at times, with some things dragging on a little too long, or other things that seem like potential plot lines never really going anywhere. As usual, those are some of the negatives I can think of, so whether you watch the show is up to you. Overall, I would say that the flaws the show has aren't too bad, and despite them, it is still a really fun, unique show. As mentioned before, the show has gotten a lot of praise, so I would say that if you're in a spot where you're looking for something new to watch, why not give it a shot? But hey, that's just my opinion. And remember, don't take anything I say too seriously. After all, I'm just a wannabe reviewer. Thanks for watching. Be uh, you know, uh, fascinating transition. Yeah.